I'm gonna take this video because um, this guy right here, he um, <clears throat> he has a water leak right here on the on the shingles, and he hasn't been able to stop it. Well, he's a homeowner, he's not a he's not a roofer. Then he bought the stuff online, the one that there everybody's advertising, the liquid silicone that they applied and. And it hasn't worked either, so. And finally, he just called me. He goes, you know what? I give up. You do it. And uh, here I am. I'm trying to get it done today. All right? Um, I'm going to remove all this area. It's about 300 square feet. One, two, three, about 350. And I'm going to replace it for new shingles. This is the way it looks now. He tried to seal the seams, he tried to seal everything, tried to seal something, but the problem is that he has a lot of, uh, okay, for the, see, he has a lot of uh, nailing on, uh, close to the, to the seam, see right here too, let me see here, not this one, but at least you know it's, uh, it's about two inches, so at least it should be about, Five inches. You see, he has a lot of uh, staples. It's a lot of staple close to the seam. Two inches, two inches, one and a half inch actually. Let's see. Yeah, one and a half inch. You see, the first nail is a very important nail. So make sure that your roofer or your new apprentice guy make sure you teach him how to how to nail properly. You see. It? So it's about one, in a, one, one inch from the seam, and that's what's causing leaks. And right here, he, the, the one on top drops a lot of water, and then that water just goes down here. So it's a lot of water coming this way, and that's why he has the water leak here. So he go, he gave up. He goes, you know what? Just do it yourself. So I don't want to deal with it. Okay, we're removing this roof, and I told you the guy has a lot of uh, leaks over this area, on this entire area, but this is a problem. Uh, the minimum requirements when you do your uh, book, your ladder, your steps, it's five and a half inches. These guys, they put four inches, five, it should be a minimum of five and a half, and the first nail should be right in the corner, right here. This one is three inches. Four inches. So the minimum, the minimum space is uh, five inches, five and a half inches, five and a half, and this is four and a half, and so on. And right here, it has the big old uh, water that's dropping from there, so. Al revés, empieza arriba para abajo. Enséñale cómo, rojo. Sí. Three. Four and a half. Four and a half. Should be five and a half. I haven't found any. Any step that is five and a half inches, all the maximum is five inches. So this guy, he didn't know, uh, he didn't apply the the principle of the having a having a, a. You see how the water runs like this, comes like this. She runs like about four inches and then drops, four inches drops, and sometimes you know it finds the. He finds the, the seam right next to it, so it leaks right there. So all these areas leaking, and you can tell where the water, it's... See the water right here is running on top of the shingle. And it's dropping right here to these nails. So, that's what it is, guys. They use khaki to try to stop the water leaks, so several roofers have been through this roof. And it looks completely normal, but nobody checked the seam. So I told them the only thing I can do to save this is to, to remove everything.
What these people do wrong, they install a uh, halfway three counter flashing. They installed it wrong. Actually, they fabricated it themselves. But anyway, the counter flash is supposed to be bearing into the wall. It doesn't go like this. You don't do it like this. Okay, these guys they just uh, put it silicone. You need to cut at least like half inch or less, one quarter of an inch inside the stucco. So you can pass this as stucco and then you can get to the brown coat and then you have to fill it up with cutting and then finish it. But you, but you don't do corner flushing like this, okay? The guys that did it wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. I'm not saying I'm the best, but I know what I'm doing. And you don't do counter flashing like this, guys, okay? I'll show you today. Right here, this guy they didn't put any backing paper, you know, for backing. They just set the metal on top of the, on top of the wood, and that's it. Luckily, you know this. This fireplace, it's outside of the, of the house, it's on the, on, the, on the side of the wall. So all the water leaks in there, it will leak. So you don't do this kind of stuff, okay guys? Please, 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 don't give us a bad name. And then they figure out like this, they put the shingle here, so they send the water away, but there's no cooking underneath, so all the water that goes back, it goes inside there. It's because they didn't fold the um, paper underneath the T-bar. The paper should be folded at least like uh, one one inch on the wall to prevent the water from going onto the on the side of the wall. You know, some people they just don't have any clue about what they're doing. You know, when they do this is the way they did it. They thought that the uh, the thin shingle was gonna stop all the water. This is wrong. It's supposed to fold it behind the, the silver. Another thing, this edge metal is wrong. Because the guy he didn't use any asphalt primer. This one has been done about four months ago. Or, or the other thing before you uh, interlock your metal, you're supposed to use um, roof cement between the edge metal and this guy he left about an inch I usually leave about like a quarter of an inch then I'll make a bleed oh my goodness what am I gonna do see I took apart everything and I'm going to start from scratch that's the way I supposed to start and then right here I'm gonna put mastic so my I don't want to remove the metal because or may, I'm gonna just gonna tuck my my paper underneath the metal I'm gonna cut it and then tuck it underneath. And then right there on the on the wall, the guy is going to fold it. Fold it and he's going to tuck it underneath the, the flashing. You see he's gonna fold it. Double away, double primero. See what's that way? But no, no up because I'm charla. Make sure that you tuck your, your paper underneath the flashing, okay? Underneath the Z-bar. The paper is supposed to fold at least one, in, one inch on the wall. So that way you prevent any water penetration. So eventually it's gonna go inside, but it's gonna take longer. Okay, guys? So you can't just cut the paper right there. Okay, you see like this guy? See the... The metal is folded like all the way up here, all the way up here. See, that's the way you do it. Okay. 
this is the way I do my flashing. Okay, that's roof to wall, step flashing, step flashing, and then this is saddle stack. This is the one that catches the water and sends it on top of the shingle right here. So I put a lot of uh, caking behind it. A lot of people they like to leave this car all the way up here and then they fold it because they send the water out here, but I don't like it because it traps a lot of water on that side. So I'll do it like that. Then right here I'm gonna put mastic here to cover these nail holes. I'm gonna put mastic all the way up here, so you're gonna need this opening for the water to run down. Okay. This is how I do my step flashing. It's called a step flashing on the fireplace. This is the old, the old way. Make sure that your uh, silicone it makes a 45 angle right there, where, right there. Okay. And then Rojo is painting it. He's got all the passion in the world to paint it, so he's gonna make it look good. Uh, see, that's uh, all. That's uh. And it's a neighbor across and they have a step flashing too. See it looks red when we paint it. Some people that like to paint it uh, black but the reason is I don't paint it black is because you cut in half the... It looks red and then suddenly the fireplace looks black so I don't like it. I'm not a professional painter, but Rojo is a better painter than myself. Rojo, can you the you. Before I close this video, uh, this is the way the counter flashing is. We cut the wall, and we did the counter flashing. We put an extension on the on the gutter against the thing. We put a new roof right here. Hopefully, you like you like it. The guy who did this roof, he tried to stop the water. He couldn't. And this is my counter flashing. Okay. So I'm done. Sayonara.